In this video, we present our work Scaling Robot Learning with Semantic Imagine Experience. This is joint work done by Teams and Robotics at Google and Google Research. Recently, there have been significant progress in text-to-image generative models, especially diffusion models. Here are some examples generated from a recent text-to-image diffusion model called Imagen. These generated images are not only of high quality, but also semantically realistic. Coincidentally, in the domain of robotics, it is well known that data collection is extremely time-consuming and prohibitively expensive, requiring either manual teleoperation or engineering heavy autonomous operations. For example, in a recent large-scale robot learning work called RT1, it took 13 robots 17 months to collect 130k teleoperated demonstrations. Such expensive data collection requirements make robot learning challenging to scale similarly to other domains such as NLP and computer vision. Therefore, the key ingredient in scalable robot learning is to mitigate the burden of data collection. In this work, we aim to take an alternative route to real-world data collection and instead ask the following question. Can we leverage recent advances in general models to scale up robotics data in a way that is helpful for robot learning? As we have seen, current general models can produce realistic images, and if we can leverage those models effectively, we can expand robotic datasets without collecting additional robot data effectively for free. To this end, we present Rossi, Robot Learning with Semantically Imagined Experience. As shown in the video, Rossi is capable of generating a diverse set of semantically meaningful scenarios on top of existing robotic dataset. Significantly scaling up robot learning without requiring more robot data collection. Rossi has four components, LLM-assisted augmentation prompt generation, open vocabulary mask generation, text-to-image painting with diffusion models, and manipulation policy training. Let's break it down in more detail. The first component in Rossi is to leverage a large language model, or LLM, for automatically generating diverse prompts that are used for data augmentation. Given a source task and a target task, which in this example is place cocaine into top drawer and place cocaine into clutter top drawer, respectively. We prompt the LLM to propose a region prompt, open a drawer for generating the mask, a pass-through object prompt, robot arm and robot gripper for detecting the masks of objects that we don't want to include in the target mask to avoid occlusion, and an imprinting prompt, add a toy block in the drawer, the block has different colors, for the diffusion-based in painting. Given the generated prompts, we use the region prompt and the pass-through object prompt to query an open vocabulary segmentation model RVIT plus to generate a mask of the target region, open the drawer, and the masks are pass-through objects, robot arm and robot gripper, as shown in the figure on the right. We compute the final mask via subtracting the pass-through object masks from the target region mask. Now, given the painting prompt generated by the LLM in the first component and the detected final masks, we use Imaging Editor, a text guided image editing model fine tuned on Imaging, to perform semantically meaningful in painting on the desired region of the image. In this example, the model in paints a toy block in the drawer and shown in the top right figure. We perform such augmentations on all images in the same episode of the task, place cocaine into top drawer, and obtain a new episode where the robot places the cocaine into a top drawer with novel distractors. Finally, given the augmented data, we train a manipulation policy based on a transformer architecture developed in the prior work RT1, with a one-to-one -one mix of the original and augmented data. Next, we will show how Rossi works 
In real-world scenarios, you are rolling out a policy landed on a mixed data set generated by row C. These evaluation scenarios are only seen through data generated by diffusion models. First, we utilize row C to generate new tasks, robot putting things in sync in the, from episodes where robot put things in the drawer. On the left, we show augmentations generated by Rossi from putting things in the drawer episodes. On the right, we show a video of ro policy rollout after training the policy where Rossi generates the data. The robot can effectively place the Pepsi can into a sink, although it never sees the sink in the real world. We compare Rossi policy to the policy trained by RT1 without any augmentation. On the left, we show RT1 policy rollouts, and on the right, we show the Rossi policy rollouts. It's clear that the RT1 policy is not able to solve its new task without seeing the augmented dataset, whereas Rossi policy can successfully complete the task. We further show that Rossi can augment an in-hand object that is the target of manipulation. On the left, we show that Rossi can successfully replace an in-hand chip bag with microfiber cloths with different colors. On the right, we show the rollouts of a Rossi policy trained on its augmentation data on the top row and RT1 policy rollouts for comparison on the bottom row. The Rossi policy can effectively grasp the target blue microfiber cloths, whereas the RT1 policy fails to do so, and the grasping instructor are struggling to hold the cloth. We show that Rossi policy can also grasp a black microfiber cloth, where the RT1 policy fails again. This indicates that Rossi enables manipulation policy to generalize to grasping the microfiber cloth with different colors. Thank you for watching. For more details of Rossi, please check out our paper and website.